Hey, today, we're gonna take a look at our old buddy Chainlink. We're gonna see how it's the latest upgrade, our rapid evolution for DeFi. We also take a look into their latest mainnet, off-chain reporting. We're also gonna see how it's gonna change the game. We're also gonna look into the market, see where we're at right now and where we're heading. Let's go. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Your guy, Crypto Chuck, back here with the group Crypto Black. We're back at it again, baby. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Guys, some people bought the dips, some people didn't. Hopefully, uh, some of you guys did. Um, so the market, you know, money is coming back to the market today. We are starting to see some volume come back in. So, you know, is it over? I don't think so. But, you know, guys, all remember to take some profits or you look to, keep, to accumulate, you know, you buy during these dips, all right? But today, man, let's, let's take a look at the old friend. I haven't talked about Chainlink a lot at uh, lately, but uh, Chainlink, I'm going to let you guys know. I said it before, I said it again. It was really hard for me not to pick Chainlink in my top three picks for 2021. It was really, really, really difficult. But I did strategically my, my top three picks for 2021. It was very strategic, all right? But like I said, it's, it was really hard for me not to pick Chainlink. The Chainlink is a great project, all right? And I think anybody that's, uh, I'm a big holder of Chainlink. And, um, you know, I think anybody else is holding Chainlink, you know, they, they, you know, it's definitely big for the DeFi space. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's holding Chainlink is doing pretty good uh, right now. And in the future, <laughs> I see in the future, it's going to be doing very well. Uh, as you guys see right here, it said Chainlink's latest upgrade, a rapid evolution for DeFi. CEO Sergey Nazarov says. Uh, so let's look at Chainlink. Right now, Chainlink is at $28.59. Uh, we do know what happened in the last couple of days. You know, we wicked all the way down. You know, just this is just pretty much the market, all the, all, you know, every pretty much everywhere. Um, and you guys, especially the big, the larger cap, uh, larger cap coins. So we had an all time high at 36.87, almost 37 bucks, uh, chain link. And um, a lot of us been in chain link under, under a dollar. So, <laughs> but, um, you know, so we had 37 bucks and basically 20, 37 bucks on, on all time high, wicked all the way up here. We've seen a lot of wicks, you know what I'm saying? That's that, you know, there's a lot of wells playing around. And guys, remember, watch that well video I did with Mark. Uh, I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, so, so you can see exactly how the wells work. We're starting to see some volume, volume come in now. It did come all the way down to $20, all right. Uh, about $20.70 wicked all the way down here, went past that 50 day. Um, you know, we pretty much started back, uh, we wicked all the way back down to the 50 day again, and we went up to the 20. All right. So I don't think and right now we're at, at um, we had twenty eight twenty eight $28.70. We get a little volume coming in. You know, we had a strong volume of sell the last couple of days, but I wouldn't be happy until we get past this. So we get past uh, a little bit over $30, about 30, you get past about $31, $32. Then I'll think uh, for a re-entry if you want to uh, get in for us for a day trade. All right. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I think we have to get past this, have to pass this 20. We wicked up here, you know, but, you know, I just, I, you know, until we get past 31, 32 and we can settle above 30, we can settle above 30, 31. Then, uh, you know, it can be a good thing. But for us for a day trade, I will get, I will be in, in and out on this. Um, I'll be in and out on this, but for long term, you know, if you want to accumulate right now, accumulate right now. Um, but yeah, guys, that's what I'm looking at with Chainlink. And like I said, it's a good project, but like I said, when in doubt, just always zoom out. Um, you know, anybody that's been in Chainlink, they know, you know, on a week, hit that 20, and then you know where we're at. We're above, we're still above the seven. So, you know, anybody down here, he's just buying it up, baby. He's buying it up. You know what I'm saying? Just 2021, and we started off about 10, little, little under 11 dollars. So you know we had 28. So I always say, when in doubt, zoom out. All right, let's get over here, guys. Let's check this out. So it says the, the, the decentralized Oracle providers' biggest upgrade yet means 10 times more on-chain data and new and new uses for smart contracts. Now it says uh, decentralized finance is about to see a rapid evolution, according to Chainlink founder Sergey Nazarov. Uh, a major new upgrade launched today by the decentralized Oracle. 
provider is, is, is bringing 10 times more data on chain to boost DeFi products and services, he told Decrypt. The new upgrade dubbed off chain reporting uh, is the network's biggest since its main net was launched in May 2019. It will open Chainlink up to applications beyond the price feeds it's become famous for, as well as introducing a whole slew of other uses, according to Nazarov. Now, Chainlink uh, securely connects blockchains to real world data and has built out an evident, uh, I'm sorry, inviolable reputation for doing so. It's the dominant decentralized Oracle provider within Ethereum's uh, DeFi ecosystem, and over 300 projects have now integrated its Oracle technology. Uh, the startup was named as one of the 100 most promising technology pioneers of 2020 by the World Economic Forum. Meanwhile, its link token, which reached new highs this month, was one of the 2020's best performing crypto assets. Yeah, it was. And we, we you know, we, you know, we, we did pretty good last year with Chainlink. And to keep going, keep running. So it says scalability solution. Uh, the aggregates data off chain. The upgrade was a year in development and radically overhauls the way chain and Oracle nodes pull data where previously data had to be brought on chain and then aggregated, a process which uh, incurred uh, prohibitive fees known as gas on Ethereum. Now data aggregation happens entirely off chain, which is great. We all know the fees going on is crazy, man. So this reduces nodes operating costs by up to 90% because operators no longer have to pay for multiple transactions to bring data on chain for aggregation. It also dramatically increases the amount of data that the nodes can handle, which enriches the entire DeFi ecosystem. We have historically seen that we put data on chain, more DeFi protocols go live and existing DeFi protocols that, you, that use us have more markets to go live, which makes the whole category more useful to users, says Nazarov. Now, uh, decentralized insurance and blockchain-based gaming are just one of the newly emerging sectors that smart contract uh, developers will service in the coming months. So keep a note on that, guys. So look out for these, these, these new uh, dApps that's coming out. And, um, you know, it's going to be working with Chainlink. They're saying, look, you know, they, they can blow up. Now, as newly available databases emerge for a wider range of financial products and markets, he added, OCR was developed by Chainlink's chief scientist, Ari Jules and Ben Chan, formerly of BitGo, as well as a new face Christian Kachin, who used to, ha uh, to head up IBM research. It's trust uh, minimized, which means that the participants' uh, vulnerability to each other's and to outsiders' potential for harm behavior is reduced. It also has additional advantages such as increased decentralization. That's what it's all about. Um, so basically, guys, so, so beyond uh, price data, up, up to now, Chainlink has been focused largely on rapidly increasing the amount of data it provides on-chain through its price fees, which is continuing to expand it. But there are other services Chainlink already provides that will benefit from OCR, such as proof of reserve. Now, um, a mechanism that enables Oracle to update and provide on-demand data about re reserve funds, such as those held by stable coins. Though, uh, these can then be used by other DeFi applications on Ethereum and proof of reserve is already used by uh, TUSD, Stablecoin and crypto custodian BitGo. All right, so guys, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I don't wanna keep on going into it, but it says upgrade promises to galvanize smart contract development uh, sector never, uh, Nazarov has focused on for 12 years. He registered the domain smartcontract.com on October 20, 25, 2008, six days before the Bitcoin white paper was published. For Nazarov, the most exciting thing is that Chainlink provides a vital piece uh, infrastructure to service smart contract. The faster we can enable people to build, he said, the faster our industry gets there. Yes, Chainlink is an intricate part in regards to DeFi and uh, far as the data, the data being uh, aggregated across different platforms. So, um, I mean, guys, you just don't understand how important Chainlink is for this. And with these upgrades and, and dramatically reducing these fees, it's going to allow a lot of people, a lot of developers to actually build on, build on top of it. A lot of users uh, as well to actually uh, uh, pretty much it's going to bring more people to come in, more people to come in. It can bring in better, uh, more and better developers as well as uh, more people coming in to actually you know to, to, to use these platforms. All right, because the more the, uh, the cheaper it costs for the developers to make, you know, the more they can spend on marketing and 
uh, the more they can spend on uh, more time they can spend and more money they can spend on actually developing really good projects and platforms and people be able to come in and utilize. So, uh, especially with DeFi, I told people, I mean, think we had a DeFi summer last year. People were like, oh yeah, you know, I think it's over. I mean, total volume lock, you know, it's just keep going up. You know, total volume lock ain't going down. So, you know, it's going up. So I think people need to learn to take advantage of this, uh, this opportunity. Uh, with this right here, I think it's great. Like I said, it was really tough for me not to put Chainlink on my top three. Uh, but you know, <laughs> it's definitely my top five, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this right here, guys. I would love to hear what you think. If, are you guys in the chain link? Drop a comment below. We're going to be doing, I got an announcement. We're going to be doing, uh, I'm going I'm to say on Friday, what we're going to be doing, uh, coming up for the next coming weeks. Uh, so I think it'll be a great, great announcement. And uh, for for uh, the subscribers here for crypto the crypto black YouTube channel baby so um, well yeah guys let me know what you think about this right here I would love to hear back from you guys are you guys in the chain link are you guys taking gains you put a, uh, you accumulated are you accumulating now doing those dips are you taking advantage of this opportunity let me know in the comment below it's your guy crypto Chuck here to group crypto black and again guys if you have not uh, in your brand new to cryptocurrency and you want to learn about cryptocurrency, make sure to visit our website, www.cryptoblack.net. And then you can take our beginner's course. And also you can check out our podcast as well. We give a lot of information out on our podcast, uh, the Crypto Black Podcast. We're on Apple, we're on Google, we're on Spotify as well. Pretty much everywhere you can think about, uh, we're there. And, uh, well, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you stack your sacks and chill. She got Crypto Chuck, here to go Crypto Black. We out of here, baby. Peace.